Anatomy of Humerus by Medchrome and Epomedicine. This is proximal part of humerus. The head is directed medially. It articulates with the glenoid cavity of scapula. About one third of head sits in glenoid cavity. And forms a ball and socket joint. Greater tuberosity is larger and lateral. It is the site of insertion for coracohumeral ligament and rotator cuff muscles, SIT, that is supraspinatus, infraspinatus, and teres minor. Smaller and medial is the lesser tuberosity. It provides attachment to glenohumeral ligament and another rotator cuff muscle, subscapularis. Posteriorly lies the bicipital groove or intertubercular sulcus, through which the long head of biceps brachii and ascending branch of anterior circumflex humeral artery passes. It is crossed by transverse humeral ligament from greater to lesser tubercle. Remember the mnemonic, lady between two majors. The floor of the groove provides attachment to lissimus dorsi. The medial lip to teres major and the lateral lip to pectoralis major. The anatomical neck lies just distal to the head of humerus. It represents old epiphyseal plate. Just distal to the tubercles, lies surgical neck. It is the frequent site of fracture. It is closely related to the axillary nerve and its damage can lead to deltoid and teres minor weakness leading to inability to abduct arm. An anesthesia over superolateral aspect of arm named as regimental badge sign. It is also related to posterior circumflex humeral artery which is the main vascular supply of humeral head. Supraspinatus and infraspinatus pulls greater tubercle upwards. Subscapularis pulls lesser tubercle medially. This is the shaft of humerus. Deltoid tuberosity leads laterally and provides attachment to the deltoid muscle. Lower half of the anterior shaft provides attachment to brachialis muscle. Medial surface of the middle one third of the shaft provides attachment to coracobrachialis. Posteriorly, spirals a radial groove parallel to the deltoid tuberosity. It contains radial nerve and profunda brachii artery. Radial nerve is damaged in mid half fractures leading to wrist drop and sensory loss on dorsal surface. Lateral head of triceps attaches above the radial groove and medial head of triceps attaches below the radial groove. In fractures above tuberosity, pectoralis major adducts proximal fragment. In fractures below dilated tuberosity, deltoid abducts proximal fragment. This is distal humerus. Lateral epicondyle is the common extensor origin. It gives attachment to radial collateral ligament. Lateral supraepicondylar ridge provides attachment to two muscles. Upper two-third to brachioradialis. And lower one-third to extensor carpi radialis longus. Medial epicondyle is relatively larger and a common flexor origin. Ulnar nerve passes posterior to it. It is slow provides attachment to ulnar collateral ligament. Medial supraepicondylar ridge provides attachment to pronator teres and triceps. Capitulum articulates with radial head. Trochlea articulates with trochlear notch of ulna. Radial fossa accommodates radial head when elbow is flexed. Coronoid fossa accommodates coronoid process of ulna when elbow is flexed. Olecranon fossa lies posteriorly and accommodates olecranon process of ulna when elbow is extended.